President Uhuru Kenyatta has urged relevant ministries to expedite measures that will clear hurdles affecting cross-border trade between Kenya and Tanzania. The president also introduced a raft of incentives to woo Tanzanian investors. Let's get more from our very own Dennis Otieno. The doors of trade in the East African community are slowly opening up if Samia Sulu's presidency is anything to go by. Speaking during the Kenya-Tanzania Business Forum in Nairobi, her host, President Uhuru Kenyatta, followed suit, issuing a two-week ultimatum to relevant agencies to speed up measures to ensure smooth flow of trucks at the border. Mwende, mutatue ile jam, ambaye iko kule taveta holili, ambaye iko pale na manga, magari iweze kutembea. Kama ni certificate za COVID na nini, jameni mawaziri wa afya wakae, wajue vile wanaweza kufanya certificate ikiwa issued Tanzania kama mtu amekuwa checked Tanzania basi hiyo certificate iwe sawa kwa waingie Kenya na vice versa ndio watu wafanye biashara zao in a push to eliminate non tariff barriers the president also asserting that work permits were not required for Tanzanian investors haja tu mfuate sheria na kanuni ambazo zimewekwa na zile ambazo wenzenu wa Kenya pia Lazima wazifuate. The value of trade between Kenya and Tanzania has been on a downward trend over the last decade. Real development is only realized when we develop together. Though eager to exploit untapped opportunities, investors in both countries remain cautious. Tanzania and Kenya potentially can be much bigger than they are. Unfortunately, we're bogged down with petty politics. What keeps missing in all these uh, issues and discussions is the actualization of and implementation of this policy so that they really touch positively the Mwanainchi at the, at the grassroots. We must make the identities of our people, our assets, our businesses more transparent, searchable and visible across East Africa. In short, we must create more trust in the region. President Sulu's intention mean well for the wider East African market and is a clear departure from the hardline stance taken by previous regime. The business community now hoping that measures agreed upon in this forum will be implemented to the letter. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV, Nairobi.